It's time for the Giz Whiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1835, recorded Thursday, June 10th, 2021. String on a ring. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dickie D has a spooky, scary story. He also shows us two of his fans, and I have another Alibaba gadget that may be spooky as well. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the Sandal Show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, our mystic of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good myself. Doing very good. What is that fancy bottle in front of you? Oh, this is just water. This is, uh... Okay. This Does is that say Kika Land on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, this is the brand of Costco. Oh, oh Kirkland. Kirkland. Okay. And it reminds me of Kikerland every time I see it. That's the brand... <laughs> Of like goof, they do a lot of little goofy small gadgets. Yes, exactly. And I was gonna say, what? They don't have enough money with goofy gadgets. <laughs> They're doing water. Right, <laughs> right. Um, and then the other day, I remember we had it. We showed off a gadget that it had something to do with the seat, the child's seat in a cart, in a grocery store cart. You remember oh, yes. that? Um, huggy buggy. Uh, yeah, huggy buggy. Huggy buggy. And yes. it had mentioned it could be used in carts that have two seats in them. And I remember you going, what? What does that mean? And I yes. mentioned that uh, Costco has carts that have two seats in them. I took a photo of it, but I cannot find <laughs> this photo Were you from in Costco. One Josh and the other? Uh, say, <laughs> say it again. Were you in one seat and Josh in the other? <laughs> right, exactly. Here, uh... Oh, this is way too bright. This thing never, um, there we go. So here it is. That's for two children. It's that wide that you oh can my. put two kids in the Costco seat. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you ever see, um, Wally from Pixar? Uh, and they had oh yes they had the by and large brand that uh, was kind of running the whole planet. That's what I think of whenever I go to uh, Costco because just everything is just massively sized. I mean this oh you know, bottle. Yeah, <laughs> that's the so small. <laughs> right, exactly. This is the yeah. the miniature. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh. So um, you had a. Story. You had uh, quite the story. Uh, 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 an unbelievable story. And I can tell the first little part and then in the video. We can just go to what I saw when I entered uh, my room. Uh, so this was uh, might have just been it was yesterday morning. Um, I left the studio at 2 a.m. and I came back into the studio at 10 a.m. And when I opened my front door, we can go to the video to where I turned the camera from me to the floor. Uh, uh. Okay, so I walk in, Get and around. this is what greets me I walk in my on the floor morning, of the office. And, and look at this. I <laughs> thought someone had broken in looking for. I, I cannot figure. Now, the, I, I see where the books came from. They came from the top shelf of a bookcase. A, right. why did they fall? And B, I took a giant ruler, and that mad book facing us is almost eight feet from the bookcase. That's crazy. They seem arranged. They don't seem they like see, they just... That's right. Why they don't seem like they just they, fell. Why aren't they in a pile? So Dennis said, well, they're glossy covers and maybe they slid. 
but it, it just spooked me out because last week I, I did the dedication of the park bench to Bill Gaines, who had passed away um, last Thursday. It was 29 years. And last Wednesday, it was three years since the co-editor passed on. Both had uh, a big thing to do with my life. But and this morning when I came in, I stuck my head in first. I, I said, <laughs> if there are books all over the floor, I'm going to look up Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that, maybe you should tell, hey, next time, if you could give me the winning lottery numbers, you know, no, that, that would, would be, be good. You know, yeah, that's right. That's that'd be right. Nice. Um, yeah. No, I, I, I said, uh, Nick and Bill, if you're doing this again, leave me a note. <laughs> right. Dick, we you we were there. You weren't something, so I could. Uh, yeah, where's the UFI camera when you need it? Exactly. I would have loved uh, because you know, two between two a.m. Uh, it's not like they were in the cellar banging on the pipes. Right. Right. It, and that's a happened. shelf that I mean, when was the last time you touched that shelf? Years ago. <laughs> Year, years, years ago. ago. Right. Right. So. The only thing that I figured out is there were some magazines on the shelf that may have slid down and hit the books, but the magazines are still there. What did they hit the hit the book at fifty miles an hour to catapult <laughs> them almost eight feet? Uh -huh. um, it's I'm looking up anybody. No earthquakes. No. Call Ghostbusters, says Jeff Adams. <laughs> Captain J said it's Myra Joyce playing games. Oh, Polter Giz. It's Polter Giz. <laughs> I like it, Dan Wally. Uh, yeah, the ghost of Bill Gaines. That's so funny. That's <laughs> isn't crazy. That, isn't that strange? Yes. I yes. really, I woke Dennis up. I said, Dennis, come down. I am shaking here. Anyway, hopefully it was something. Right. Effect of the eclipse. <laughs> well, uh, hey, if it was them, I mean, hey, they're giving you signs. It's kind of nice. Yeah, Checking in on yeah. you. Yeah. No, Dan, Dan, the construction on the other side of the wall. The other side of the wall is the street. Um, no. And, and again, it's in the middle of the night. I mean, the garbage truck might have went by. They, they can collect garbage overnight in the city. But, you know, the garbage trucks don't make a racket. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it was very weird, very yeah. disconcerting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spooky. Well, I didn't, Spooky. I didn't have any uh, visitors, so I, I, my week is boring. Been boring. Um, <laughs> anything else happened this no, last no, week? That, that, no, that was it. That was, that was enough. That was enough to keep me busy. <laughs> Well, that's that's uh, it. Let's, I guess, jump into some gadgets. Okay, okay. Uh, um, as Chad said in the intro, you're going to meet two of my newest fans. The sweat has hit the fan in New York City. Uh, it's been in the 90s this week, so I went on Amazon and bought two, not one, but two neck fans. The bladeless neck cooler and the F41 neck fan. And we're going to see what they look like. And my guess is they have to be charged. So we'll take a look at them, charge them up, and see which is the better fan. Because they both are roughly the same price, about $25. Okay, this is... Very cleverly called neck fan. Okay. <laughs> and... I wonder if they have any charge in them at all. And I wonder how they go on. That one is the yeah. fig roll. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is going to be F I, a name. I do not F -I -G. see a switch any. Oh, here we go. Oh, they have, you know what? These feel great, although this room is cool. It had, we had air conditioning on. But... I think this is better. Remember we had the fans you folded up toward your face? This is nice. All right, so that's one. We'll try them again later. 
And I guess we hold that button in. Okay, and that shuts it off. All right, that's good. And the bladeless neck cooler. All right. I want to see this bladeless technology. Size. Whether you want this and is rather This big. was called This is the Minluck. It's kind of nice too. These are, these are nice. M I N L U K. Cat neck fan. Oh, on the side uh, it said cat neck. Same? Uh, uh, I could uh, not find the switch. Where's the switch on this one? Uh, mm -mm. Huh. Now I am baffled. It's bladeless right. and buttonless. You look yes. at the chat room. It knows when you're hot. <laughs> Where in the world? No instruction sheet. <laughs> is the switch? Oh, here we go. The display oh, here. Uh, I mean, right. it's kind of sleek looking. But if uh, <laughs> where there, is can you see that? No. Oh, that's the on-off switch. Huh? We took this outside because it is incredibly hot. If you do get one of these, the on-off switch is next. Look for the charging port and the on-off switch is next to it. Okay. Is that USB-C? Uh, this one is char rechargeable by USB-C, oh. so that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and all right, so it has low, medium, and high. And it certainly makes a difference right now because it is really terrible out switch sold and let me see did i miss anything time. oh this is very good because of the wingless design of the fans your hair won't get caught in the blades and it's perfect i have no no hair getting caught <laughs> anywhere i actually took this down to the park and if you're really dying with the heat you can actually just take it off and cool your forehead a bit so I do like this. And now we're going to try the little guy. The little guy also has the same problem as to, there's the little switch right there. Uh, if you bought it, I would just put a red, mark that red so you could see it a little bit easier. Uh, this is very hard to adjust while it's on. All right, there you go. I, I think this, this I also think feels pretty good. Even on the audio, I, I you can guess see this one is all depending on yeah. how much weight you want. That one, they both say they they weigh exactly the same, and they only give it in grams. Let me just see what it was here. They both weigh 260 grams. They're both about the same price, about 24 bucks. This one, I like the styling on this one more. This one feels lighter, I guess, because it's smaller. <laughs> and I love, they both say 360 degree cooling. How could that be? Um, what can I tell you? I, I and, and the funny thing is indoors, this sounded way louder. Actually, it, it is louder. Let me just put this one back on again. And, but when you're outside, how loud they are, is not really a big deal. This one is this one is much quieter. That's it. Did I miss anything? This one is the fig roll. F I G R O L, and the little guy is the Minluck. Names that just roll off the tongue. <laughs> ah, those. Name brand, Minluck, and Fig Roll. Yes, exactly. So I did weigh them. The little guy is 9.2 ounces, and the one with the longer thing is 9.5 I think five ounces. So they're, they're fairly close. Um, they're 25 bucks. The only uh, lasting thing they give in the description is last nine hours. I assume that's got to be on low, but uh, a 2400 milliamp battery doesn't seem bad. And, and as yeah. you saw, the the big guy, the, the slightly bigger one, is USB C. Yeah. And you know, a... you could, I assume you can always just carry a little power pack with you. Absolutely. And oh, yeah. And and run it um, 
Do you remember the fans that we had that were actually little, like, one and a half inch fans and you bent them up to your yes. face. Yes. In fact, this this one has an image of the old ones. These oops. Oh, the, yes, yes. These are the old oh, ones. Oh, there it is. Yes. Yeah. And Oh, and look at what it did to that person's hair. <laughs> Tangled is it ate it right up. Look that's at that. what ha that's what happened to me. I think you remember I had gorgeous hair. <laughs> and then we started wearing those fans. Yeah. And it, what a, it yeah. was a very a very hot summer. I remember that was a, a big class action that you were part of there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the um, other one that they do, they do look a lot slicker. I mean, a lot, a lot slicker. Yes. So I assume is the intake this? Whoops, this part right here. Yes. Okay. It's and then got. Uh, yes. Yeah. And that's what's sending the air. Uh, you know, they call them bladeless, but you can actually see the blades. Right. In, in I don't know how you could have a bladeless fan. I mean, what the, right. what would produce the wind? Right. But the, the 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 ratings are pretty good on them. And for some reason, you can also get it in green. Maybe you want to sit in the park and blend in. <laughs> yeah, one me. is twenty four. One is twenty five. But the one that's twenty five has a 5% off coupon, which brings it down like a buck and a half. So it brings right. it down to twenty three fifty. Um, uh, I don't know, would you, like, would you wear something like this? Uh, I could, in my house, I don't feel like I would need it. If I was going to no. like an amusement park, I could see probably bringing something like this, um, where I just know it's gonna be hot kind of all day. Um, yeah, I could I could see bringing that. I would I personally would go for the one that had the USB C port. Anything that has micro USB, mini USB, it's like out. It's, you know, it is such a, a a negative in my book to have some things. I have to. There's just no like I have some chargers for um, like camera batteries and stuff like that. It's it's still that stuff. Um, but the fact that it has USB-C is like, I'm going for that one. I, even if it was a worse experience, I would probably go for that one. Yeah. Uh, also, what I was surprised at is, is since the descriptions, the same amount of battery, same speeds, I thought this is going to be two different uh, names, two different boxes, and then the same fan inside. But they are definitely... Two totally different right. uh, animals. Designs. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I like them. I like them. Yeah. Fig roll yeah, not with one O. Fig roll with one O. And <laughs> men look with a U. Yeah. M-I-N-L-U-K. And um, how come uh, Captain J hasn't found it for uh, a buck third? <laughs> right. He's, I'm, yeah, I'm, he's just enjoying I'm the shocked. show. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm sure that it's out there. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, so if you are in a very hot climate and you want a fan that doesn't look terrible. Oh, the fan hat. The fan hat. I had the, it's true. I had the fan hat, remember? Yeah. And it, if you bring it down where it can blow on your face, the fan jams because it hits the, the, the lid of the hat. It was yes. the most, the stupidest. And even in the ad, to have the solar panel up, the fan has to blow the air up. It was the dumbest. Yeah. Thing. I remember that it outputted so little force. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was yeah. like someone was going like a... <laughs> It was, it was, it was really not good. Um, yeah. So, uh, these are a big step up. Right. Right. Uh, Very good. Okay. Another kind of coffee maker for people who love coffee and, and travel. Okay. It's, do you know about AeroPress? Yeah. We had them at Twit. I was um, going to say, yeah. I talked about AeroPress years ago, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago, Leo bought five of them. I'm glad to know they're still up there. Oh, yeah. He he loves AeroPress, even yeah. though he has these coffee makers. He had a coffee maker once that was $1,400. Oh, yeah. I think you, you went up a ladder to put the <laughs> grinds in. It was 
do the cold brew thing. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, he even had uh, espresso machines at the office when I was there. He had cold brew. He had pour overs. But we had liked the AeroPress a lot. One, because it was kind of the fastest option. Especially if you just wanted one cup. You know, you would just fill, you know, whatever type you wanted. Then, you know, do the, the... filters and then just press it down and you were done and so yeah okay so now there is the aeropress go oh. and this the is aeropress it. is a quick way to make coffee but this is the aeropress go the travel coffee press okay and it says make one to three cups of coffee espresso or cold brew in about a minute they can do it in a minute. We can do it in 10. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you for choosing. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I think the old AeroPress came in that type of packaging, okay. too. That. That's the whole thing. Uh, Filters. Cool right, geometric gonna... design. I did, did a quick look at the uh, company website. Uh, all right. So this it's is very the filter cleverly holder. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So when you travel, you'll put like four or five filters in there. This is the press. This is uh, 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 stir. And this is the coffee scoop. And all right, so we'll begin. Ta-da! You take a filter out of here. We don't have any filters in there, so we'll get one out of here. Oh boy, they give you wow. They That'll give last you, you a year. 300 oh, and I will. 50 filters. So 350. Okay. It lasts you more than a yeah, year. Yeah, two days more to, to open this pack. All right. Yeah. And you 365. Just throw a you'd, you'd have of them in the. If you had coffee oh, every day, there'd be 15 like days you would, you would have okay. to skip. And this would be back in the box. <laughs> there you go. So we take one of these, we put it in the filter. Uh uh-uh. uh. I hope I'm remembering how to do this right. Does this come off? All right. But we I don't have to look at the instructions. All right. Take that. That's my favorite out. type of gadget. Is the filter there? Take a teaspoon of coffee. Mm-hmm. Now I should have used that scoop because I put in way, way too little, little coffee. coffee. It's going to be weeks, but that's okay. I'm going to get the water out of my microwave here. Okay. All right. Got the. Now they show you online a slightly different way to do it. Okay. They say to pour some water in, do the press. It needs more than that. And what's so nice what they is the do is carry case is also it is the like mug. They, you make really strong so coffee and then dilute it, it afterwards, mm-hmm. so there's less pressing. Until you uh, feel uh, their little demo online. And then when you feel the resistance, then you push the rest of the way down. Okay, it's all the way down now. Mm-hmm. And we should have very dark coffee in here. Right, we do. Okay. The one thing is, it's hard to see the coffee. Water to it. <laughs> yeah. You could, it needs to be a white and mug. And then this can sit in yeah. here, so it doesn't drip anywhere. So it's almost like an americano that you're making. The milk and stir it. I'm not going to bother getting that dirty. I didn't stir it because I didn't want to have to wash the stirrer. It's good that it's on the weak side. I did not put enough coffee in it, but even though I didn't do that, the next part is you go over to, here I can just show you, is you'll end up with a puck of coffee grinds and throw that into the garbage. That's it. There you go. The AeroPress. The AeroPress Go. I like that. It's uh, yeah. it's all contained. It has that silicone lid, so that you can keep it all together. I like that a lot. Isn't it clever? Yeah, absolutely. 
And if it, you're into cold brew, <laughs> you yeah. don't even need to bring a little immersion heater with you. Yeah, yeah. I almost wish it had a little space to keep the coffee grinds, almost. like. Oh, that's interesting. You know, if, if, if somehow it could have kept some grinds, grounds around and... Um, I mean, maybe you could fill the middle of the <laughs> plunger with coffee. Oh, yeah, 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 you know, you actually <laughs> probably could. Uh, I mean, the scoop will be in there. Yeah. And the little oh, yeah, stir will be in there. But you could, you could, I, you know what? I bet you could throw enough coffee in there that you could make your first cup. Yeah. Yeah. That's really, really cool. It's basically the same thing. Just it'll all nest together and allow you to carry it. Nicely. Exactly, exactly. Perfect. And a nice little lid. Yeah, I think it's a very clever idea that everything stores in the mug you drink from. Yeah, yeah. I love it. The AeroPress Go. 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 It's still like uh, two bucks, bucks more than the original AeroPress. Yeah, worth it. Very good. Um, okay, and then our final gadget is from Anchor Ooh. and people who are starting to travel again might be interested in this. One of the problems when you travel, not enough plugs in the hotel room. Oh, so yeah. Anchor has a really nice solution for that. This is what it looks like. It's called the Anchor Power Extend USB C Cube. It's a two and a half inch cube. Okay, one single flat plug. Nice, long, I believe it's five foot extension, and this can go on the desk. Now the one outlet becomes three, three prong outlets. Then you have fast charging, two USB-A, and one uh, PQ outlet, PD outlet, okay? That can be used to charge Power iPhones. Delivery. It can charge the 12 Pro Max, some other laptops. There's a $25,000 connected equipment warranty, which is uh, nice. And they have something called the Seven Point Safety System. So there's short circuit protection, grounded protection, over current protection, over temperature protection, fire resistance, over voltage. There's no uh, protection for being overwrought. Okay, that is something you'll have to take care of yourself. It is um, about $40. I bought it on Amazon, and at the time they had a check for $10 off, okay? So I paid $29.99. That's it. Anchor, Power Extend, USB-C 3 Cube. That is nice. I love Isn't those. It? Yeah, totally. Yeah. I can see if, if also you were just in an office setting and you're constantly going under your desk to plug in something... This yes, and, and charge your, your other stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, and the coupon's still there. Yeah, look at that. Get your extra $10 off right now if you're watching live. Yeah, so it's 29 and um, there's also a little blue LED. I, I love it. The little blue LED just lets you know that the entire cube is powered, so you don't have to get under the desk to see if it fell out or anything. You'll know whether it's powered or not. That's nice. I like that. And that PD, I think stands for Power Direct, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you know, I thought it said Power Delivery. Oh, man. In... Oh, yeah, it does. Power Delivery, high-speed charging. Okay, oh, there, there yeah, I knew I saw it somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so that'll, most Macintoshes, it will power. I think that the, there's some, a few pros that need the 45 watts they'll still charge on 30 watts they just won't um, you can't like use it and charge at the same time oh it, i see you I can see. use okay. it and the battery will go down less and then it will charge the battery slower than the 45 watt one um so yeah uh, that's 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 awesome that's really really good for 30 dollars that's a steal so I, I think so too. I, I was thing. really happy to see that it was that price, and I love that the ten dollar off thing is is uh, available. Yeah. And also, uh, something like that. I, I like the seven point safety thing because you know that Ank is really going to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, in, unlike some of those other brands where they have the crossed fingers warranty. Oh, right. 
<laughs> we hope it doesn't blow up. We you're not think you're not buying not the Weep Do uh, brand where you hope that the company will even return your emails. <laughs> That's um, right. That's right. Yeah. And also the the. Um, the $25,000 equipment guarantee versus the uh, $2.50 guarantee that comes right. with the... Uh, oh, maybe you'll get one of those from Alibaba. I don't want to spoil your thunder in case... <laughs> no, absolutely. <laughs> that, that's, one of those. I, it is kind of a very smart business plan on Anchor's part is that it, it, it they have no qualms about it. They are the same Chinese company except they have phenomenal customer service and you can yes. talk to them, you can get stuff replaced. Uh, it's like <laughs> the same stuff, yes. but you have a customer service uh, people that you can talk to and get things replaced and, and whatnot. I've had my, my battery packs fail. They replace them, no issues. Um, it's been fantastic. So, so Every time I've had to deal with Anchor's customer service, it's been a good experience. I'm sure that there's some bad stories out there, but in general, it's going to be way better than if that fan stopped working tomorrow. <laughs> yes, exactly. You'd be up a creek. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Well, you uh, was this outdoors? Did you actually use this outdoors? The Alibaba? The fan. Yeah, yeah. no, no. The, when, if you oh. call up about <laughs> right. the fan That's stop. their question. I'm sorry, that voids our warranty if you use this outdoors. Oh, right. um, yeah, Was it on for more than five minutes? Because, <laughs> you know, those things heat up. I mean. Did you, did you this, open the packaging? Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, oh. This is, this is not an air conditioner. This is a fan. <laughs> it should be left on for 30 <laughs> seconds at a time. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's, it's sad because anyway. it's true. <laughs> yes. Okay, right, well. well. that brings us to, you ladies and gentlemen. It, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. We are still in Alibaba month. So I uh, recorded a video about this gadget. It's right here. So let's uh, take a look at the video first. Hey Diggity, we are back with another Alibaba gadget and this week we are taking a look at a magical floating ring. And I already have a lot of it out of the packaging. So let me check this out. Okay, if all goes according to plan, we can take this ring. It has been infused with the spirit of the Gizwiz, and it should be able. Oh my gosh, oh. look at it. Oh, oh my, how is it, how is it working? Oh my gosh, it's levitating. How on earth is this levitating? That is, <laughs> that is incredible. That is amazing, holy mm -hmm. moly. Whew, I can't believe it, folks. Uh, <laughs> it is magical. Um, so, this kit be less has magical quite a if you lot had a of white shirt it. It on. It has the ring. <laughs> right. It has secret levitation gadget. So it does, it does technically have a gadget in it. Um, it has three normal cards. As, as, as much as I can tell, these are just three normal cards. Uh, it has this wax stuff in it. Uh, and that's it. It also had uh, the, the levitation gadget. It sort of had this 3M sticky stuff also to use. Now, how to actually use any of it is a little bit beyond me. Uh, it didn't come with instructions in the box. It does come with a QR code on the back, and that QR code does lead you to a video on uh, this, you know, this is, I think, the Chinese YouTube uh, site. This video is 15 minutes long. You can see that I got two minutes and 10 seconds into it. Uh, in terms of what it is saying, obviously I have no idea. It, not a second of it is in English. Uh, and I didn't have the patience to go through the entire 15 minute video uh, to figure it all out. But if you were someone who was really, really, really looking for the method to this, you could scroll through this and fumble your way through it to figure out the method of this gadget. Uh, the ring I got was a size 10, which is kind of funny because I think I'm a size 
10 or nine and a half. That's a little, it's a little large. Um, and so I went ahead and just attached to the levitation gadget to the string because that seemed like the smartest thing to do. So there is a, I assume you can see it, there is a tiny string attached to the ring uh, that is making it levitate, if that wasn't obvious already. Uh, so instructions, unclear. Uh, but it is working. It is actually doing, you know, some levitating. And I definitely have all the pieces to pull off a method. Uh, I just, I guess I just don't have the patience to sit through a 15 minute long Chinese video uh, to actually figure it out. So back to you guys. Okie dokie. So the cost kind of uh, excuses it of a few of its major flaws, made mostly that <laughs> there's no darn instructions in English. It only cost a dollar fifty. Oh my god. <laughs> Two dollar shipping. So in total, it was three fifty for the whole kit and caboodle. Um, the I assume that there are multiple methods to this. So you could do one type of levitation where maybe you, like they had like a ring that you could kind of do over it. Then I have a different method where you could use the wax for something. Um, and so you, you could probably, there's probably more than one trick in here um, if you were able to translate the video. Um, I'm seeing in the chat room, do, does it come in any different ring sizes? No. In fact, I was surprised it was so nicely labeled that the ring was size 10 because, uh, oh, look, it's right there. That's the, that's oh. like exactly <laughs> what I got. It was a size 10 ring. So I don't think you're going to get any other size other than size 10. Um, not sure what the cards are used for because, uh, so it se seems like there's some other type of method that you can use that for, but um, I am not uh, sure what it would be used for. So for $3.50, I think that's worth a fancy little ring and a few pieces of wax and some super thin string. Um, so there you go, that, <laughs> that was this how gadget. Long did it, how long did it take to get it? Uh, over a month, over a month it okay. took to, to get it. Uh, I, so, <laughs> I'm worried about the end of this month because there are some gadgets that came that are just not, they're almost, they're just disappointing. And uh, we covered some last week that are, I'm just absolutely not going to cover. Um, so I did place an order at the beginning of this month for some more gadgets. So I'm crossing my fingers that a few more arrive in time uh, for us to to cover some some extra gadgets, I, I have four. Do you have others. one for next for next week? Oh, yes, next I have, week. I, oh yes, we should mention next week. We meant to mention this at the beginning of the show. We're going to be recording a different day. We're going to be recording on Tuesday instead of on Thursday. So a few days early, uh, same time, just on Tuesday. I meant to mention that at the beginning of the show. Darn it. Right. Uh, maybe we can edit something in. Um, oh okay. And anyway, so the the Alibaba, I do have stuff for next week, and I technically have something for the week after, but I would I would like something better. So hopefully, Alibaba shipping will work out. I don't have a lot of faith. Uh, so if you want this, uh, I'll I can I can um, send it to the link to Dick, so it'll be in the show notes at Gizwiz. Yeah, that would be great. That would be great. Uh, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. All right, so no one listened to our plea. No one sent us a gadget <laughs> warehouse video. And the letter was from Mo, so I didn't want to use another Mo video. So I was going to go to the warehouse, and I was opening a bin, and something fell out. And I looked it up on the Gizwiz show, and it's something I did 10 years ago. 
almost to the month. And I thought, well, Chad wasn't doing Gizwiz back then. Yeah. And I also found out the gadget is still available. So we're going to play What the Heck Is It with you and the chat room. This is the gadget. I can't turn it around because it has the name on the other side. Hmm. And so it's a tiny gadget, gray, <sighs> looks sort of like a funnel. <laughs> I kind of have it. <laughs> it's 10 years ago. Some, uh, uh, someone in the chat room, who was it? Mr. Dave said, Chad wasn't born yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. uh, pencil shop and a doorstop. Teeny weeny milk can. Yeah, Dan maybe, Wally uh, says, I know. Oh, well, we didn't ask Chad. I think I know. I think I know. Maybe right before you reveal, I'll, I'll let you know what I think it is. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I think the... Uh, it could be a clay snuffer. pencil sharpener. I don't know. Hmm. Um, okay. I see a correct answer. So before I an announce the correct oh. answer and we show the video from the company, Chad, you think it is? So as a child, I had a version of this, but it was shaped like a... Uh, a killer, a killer whale, and oh my goodness. water would. So I think what I think it is is you put it at the end of a faucet, and you can do something with it, and water will come out. I, I, that's what I now I forget if you bend up the nozzle. So yeah, no, well, you know, what? run to the. They have a little one minute video. Okay, which it's so clever and. 10 years and it's still for sale for like six dollars oh that's so funny yeah i had i had one that it was not that's even better that's this, very clever yeah oh yeah oh this is a different method than than that one here it is in 13 it's called seconds. tapping here i can just if that's just music i can turn that down so you put it on the tap and it works like Brush normal teeth I'm right. so confused how this one. Oh. And then. Oh. Yes. Yep. Yep. So the one that I have, and then maybe I, I could do a little bit of searching to see if I could find the one that I have. I actually, um, I think that's a very clever idea for kids. So it was like yeah. a spouting, it would come out the whale spout. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And, the, and then the, the bottom part, so it wasn't a tube that you would squeeze. It, there was like a flap, and that flap was the whale's mouth, and so you would shut the mouth of the whole oh, thing. Oh, I think it's so clever. And it would squirt out. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> what's the Jason, I want the kill a whale version. <laughs> Mr. Dave uh, said, millennials will not drink from the tap. Yeah. Uh, oh, water on tap. That's funny. I, Ranger Rick. Uh, this looks similar, uh, but it's, this isn't the one that, that I remember having, um, here it is, and it, it looks similar to that, and you would, and that's the mouth, and you would shut that, um, and then it would, <laughs> it would spout oh, out. I, oh, okay, oh, all right. <laughs> Just like that. Um, oh my god, that's four dollars. Yeah, this is four bucks. Look at that. Um, so yeah, we had a ver we had a thing like that, but it was from you know the nineties. So I remember mine not looking that adorable. <laughs> right. But yeah, I use that all the time. Um to you know, I needed some water, walk over there, start it up, squeeze it, and then get some water as a child. I use it all the time. I, I would be shocked if we still had that thing. Um, <laughs> no. This is like when I was like 10. Um, so, yeah. And there you go. That's a cool gadget. Yeah. It's so funny that they're still Chappy, making them. Cappy. Oh, you know, Chappy. look on Amazon just for laughs. For Tappy because, or just? Yeah, yeah for uh, Tappy. Because okay. I, I, I checked it and the guy wanted $26. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, let's see. If the company sells it for six. And there's a $5 one. Oh, oh there's bucks. a $5 one. Okay. Yeah. okay. And it's prime. So it'll, it'll uh, come quickly. Yeah, I, I remember. Um, I think we may have even had a shark or something like that. Um, no, that's not any helpful at all. 
But yeah, there you go. This it's one seems big, a huh? lot. I, it is a, a more compact design <laughs> than the mm. one that I I had as a child. Um, so there you go, Tappy. Tappy. They want that. They uh, still sell okay, it. so if you want to make a video for us, if not, I will have another gadget from the warehouse next uh, Tuesday. This uh, next week it's Tuesday. We'll, then we're back to Thursdays. Uh, make a video. Anything to do with a gadget, okay? One to three minutes, horizontal, plain when you shoot it. Let us just see the gadget and hear your voice. All right, that's it. Anything to do with a gadget, uh, a piece of crap that you've kept for years, something you just bought, something you've been using for 10 years but love, anything to do with a gadget, make a video, put it on YouTube. You can click unlisted in the drop down menu. That way, only people with the URL will be able to see it. Send us the URL, and that goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Okay, do one over the weekend, if you can, for Tuesday's show. And I, I found this on Amazon. Uh, oh! Seven bucks. And there's, yeah, I, I think that's very cute. <laughs> there it is. Uh, so there you go. Anyway, <laughs> with that, let's move on to the letter. Uh, exactly. As I mentioned, it's from Mo. It's a very interesting uh, thing we're going to check here. Uh, Mo just asked, hey, guys, have you heard about this? Is it for real? What do you think? There are many websites, but this is just one. And I sent you the link that Mo sent us. So this is called this is unclaimed wholesale random boxes packages yeah you can buy a one level box a four level box but if you scroll down it's very interesting i think they're trying to be a little bit honest uh <laughs> uh keep going unclaimed amazon package oh go up a little chad okay um yes if five percent of the time only five percent of the time you will get twice the value of what you paid ah 15 percent of the time one and a half times the value 80 percent of the time you will get the value of payment that's ridiculous because that means you will have paid almost the regular price for crap you may not want you have <laughs> right. <not> yet right <laughs> right right uh and even 5%, which is really low, you'll get twice what you paid. But I always love these photos of... Right. Here's uh, five, you know, iPod or uh, AirPods, you know. Yeah, AirPods, right. Um, yeah. So, it's real. Um, it, I've seen this around all over the place. And basically, from what I've heard is... Whenever you return something to Amazon, if it's like defective at all, they just get rid of it. And they do this wholesale thing where they just put it up for auction. You can buy a pallet of this stuff at once. Um, and that's now it. Now, how would you do that? That would be directly from Amazon. So it yes. would be good stuff, right? And so there are auctions where you go and they'll have a big pallet and then they'll auction off that pallet. And it's only in certain areas, you know, that they oh. do this. And I've seen YouTubers do, basically make videos about this, where they go to the auction and they buy a pallet and they see what they got, and then, you know, they, you know, they either sell it or show how much better money they got for, you know, what they have. Oh, that's um, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, so it's it's almost like. Um, storage units where you go to the storage unit and you kind of bid on the storage unit if it's been left unattended and then you can get all the stuff in the storage unit um so anyway yeah that's uh uh, it, uh i mean i think it's legit but i haven't i uh, but i think your chances of getting something really great is really small especially since they tell you the odds yeah it makes me feel like this is a company that goes and purchases them from Amazon and then looks through everything 
and basically sells creates, the good stuff. Right. They sell <laughs> the really good stuff, and then all the little junky things that they have, they throw into a box, and you can buy it for twenty right. bucks. Yeah. Uh, Although, uh, on, can you go back to that website for a minute? It looked yeah. like you can pay up to. Oh, you could pay a yeah. high level box. Yeah. You can pay sixty nine bucks. Yeah. Yeah. This is what makes me feel like this is a a a, you know, a group of people that has bought fifty pallets and they go yeah. through them. And they find the best stuff, and they sell that stuff on eBay individually. And then all the little junky things, they can put... Like, Amazon isn't going to say, oh, this is a level four box. You know, they're not doing that <laughs> type of organization. Yeah, no, you're right. They're you're trying right. to clear it as fast as possible. And so, yeah, this, is, this seems like... A, hey, which, you know, why? I mean, if you want to take a gamble, you know, that'd be kind of fun. Um, see what you get, but I think it's, it reminds me of that box that you got from that site. I forget which yes, one it was. Uh, like deal of the day. Yes. Right. Uh, I tech is saying, we talked about this Yeah, a few episodes ago. Um, well more than that, but, and it's the second time I've got stung where they show you beats headphones and both speak a box overflowing and you pay twenty dollars. I think it's thirty dollars with shipping, and it's all stuff like in boxes. But it's things I, I'll never use. You know, yeah. labels for VHS boxes, uh, a charging cable, five different type of charging cables. Yeah, like. yeah, five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Um, so I got burned the first time, and and I thought, well. Let's try again. Maybe second time I'll really get something decent in the box, but uh, you don't. Yeah. Yep. So uh, if you want to, you know, gamble a little bit, see what you get. You know, feel free. Uh, yeah. If you're one exactly. of, yeah, and make a make a video. Make yeah, a video. Totally. totally. That would be good. Cool. Um. Well, I want to say big thank you to our patrons. Over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you so, 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 so much for supporting the show. You guys are incredible. And I really, really, really appreciate all of your support. Thank you so, so, so much. You guys are awesome. If you want to give back, if you like the show and want to support us, head on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz. You can also head to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a PayPal link if you want to give back that way. However you give back, thank you so, so, so much for your support. Uh, speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where we are live just about every Thursday. Reminder that we will be live on Tuesday next week. And uh, just head to our website, gizwiz.tv, to watch the live stream, you can join the chat room or you can subscribe or check out previous episodes. If we're not live, the latest episode will be at the head of the site, the big uh, area right at the top. Head on over to gizwiz.biz for links to all of the gadgets that we talk about in the show and articles that Dickie D has written up about all of the gadgets. While you're there, you can play What the Heck Is It? It is the game show, the, the What the Heck Is It? We would like to do our What the Heck Is It's on the show, but uh, this is the official What the Heck Is It? <laughs> this gadget is an entire gadget. It's not a piece or a part. Uh, and you have to figure out what the heck it is. And this is uh, obvious to me that um, this is actually an alien artifact. Uh, it's an alien jukebox from the future. Don't know how Dickie D got it out of Area 51, but uh, there you go. That's, uh, that's the gadget that we have right there. There are six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get a guessin', and this is the mad magazine that you are playing for. So get over there and guess your heart out. I'm gonna give you a reminder, send in videos for our gadget warehouses, a warehouse video segment. Uh, all you have to do is record a video, super simple, old gadgets, new gadgets, gadgets you love, gadgets you hate. If you have anything interesting about any of the gadgets in your life, 
And if you're watching the Gizwiz, you know that you have a gadget that you got to <laughs> tell us about. So just email it to the show, mail at gizwiz.tv. That about wraps it up. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>